Hello, Southbridge. This is Max Gullickson, and this is Southbridge Community Television at 41 Elm Street. And today I'm here with Llewellyn Corkum. Hi, Llewellyn. Hi, Max. Thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. Now, folks, you may remember Llewellyn from the past. She has been uh, greatly involved in Gateway. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the last time I saw you, we were here talking about the upcoming 2020 season. That's right. Uh, now, yeah. you talked about the six shows that are scheduled, mm -hmm. um, but now you guys or somebody is sneaking in a little extra one, the church <laughs> ladies. And this is a play, but this is not part of the normal, uh, the Gateway venue for 2020. Um, this is sponsored by who? Sponsored by or by the Elm Street Congregational Church Women's Fellowship uh -huh. um, because that's where we hold all of our shows now. Sure. We kind of felt we wanted to give something back to them. I see. So they, they do a number of programs during the year. So mm. last year when they were putting their programs together, you know, that we suggested to them, hey, why don't you have us come in and we'll, we'll do a, you know, one of your programs for you. And we found this funny script called Church Ladies. Yeah. So that is what we're going to be producing or well, showing for them. I mean, Church Ladies for a church. For it's, the Church Ladies. It seems very apropos to yes. me. Yeah. But yeah. this is, now you say doing it for them. Um, and, and, and you're right. They've been very generous with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the way they've opened up their church to you for your productions while you're still looking for a new permanent home to re replace the barn. And I can see why you'd want to reciprocate mm -hmm. a little bit. Now, what makes this one different, this church ladies? Is it a religious show or is it irreverent? It is, is it a comedy? It is a comedy. Mm -hmm. um, it is a bunch of monologues. There are seven different church ladies, mm -hmm. um, which are introduced to the audience by a narrator. Mm -hmm. And each one of the church ladies has a different personality. They tell their story. Um, I think when I first read this script, I could think of church ladies from my past that would be would fit with who they you know who they portrayed. I see. So these are women that folks in the audience might recognize they based could. on their traits. They could. They may have a different name, but by yeah. based on how they how they act and the things that they do, you're going to pick out people. Ladies, you might run into in church. Yes. <laughs> and the women's fellowship. You said who are they? They're the ones uh, bringing this to the to the church here. Who are right. they? They are a group of women. Um, the Women's Fellowship at Elm Street Church has been together since the 1940s. Mm. Um, and over time, they, you know, they, their mission is to um, bring programs to the women of the church and the community, um, to fundraise, to help out with the mission of the church. Mm -hmm. Over the years, they were the group years ago that used to serve the lunches for the Rotary, Southbridge Rotary, mm -hmm. um, when they used to have their lunches at Elm Street Church. Um, and that, you know, that was their mission at that point. Um, but now they, you know, they, they get together, they donate a lot to the church as well as to other groups within the church. Mm -hmm. And they, they put on about six programs during the year. And this is one of them. And this is this one plan. of their programs, yeah. By a program, like something yeah. um, to, to, to instruct the, the members kind of a program? Give yeah. me an example of yeah, a Yeah, this, this one, um, some of their programs are open to the public, which this one is. Um, and it is free to the public. I we see. invite anyone to come. Oh, it's going to be on March 8th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at Elm Street Church. What day of the week? That's a Sunday, so okay. it's a Sunday afternoon. Okay. Um, but they do other programs. They may have um, someone come in and do flower arranging, or they have travel logs that someone will come in and do. Things of um, interest. Things of interest. Like uh, uh, instruction type things mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. How many, yeah. um, I guess it's all women in the women's fellowship. How many? The group women is do you women, have? but we a lot of their programs are open to the public, so men are definitely invited to so come. So to go see one of their programs, you don't need to no. be a gender. No. You're not gender no, exclusive. No, exclusive. No, no. So if a guy wanted to learn how to do flowers, After, he could He go. could come, sure. I got you. Now, you said the date was the 8th of March? March 8th. And how long is this program? The program is about 30, 35 minutes. Kind of short. It, it's very short. Yeah. You're going to have some refreshments, uh -huh. you know, in, in time to, to talk. Neat. Um, yeah. Then, so, I mean, this is... Sponsored by the church, but it's mm -hmm. probably, I mean, it's irreverent, isn't it? It's yes. probably a little bit yeah. sassy. It's, it's a comedy so, sponsored by the Women's Fellowship. I got you. <laughs> but this is, um, Max, this is a program that you know, the, the actors in it are, are from our Gateway family. Yeah. Um, but it's something that at Gateway, 
sometimes we do traveling shows, which are shows that we'll take on the road to other venues. Mm -hmm. And we at Gateway use it as a fundraiser for our Gateway to the Future Fund. Sure. Um, so this show we've put out there to other churches within the area. If they're interested in having us come and do the same show for them, we're open to that. So you could pack up your whole, all your costumes and your sets mm -hmm. and travel. Sure. There's and no set for this. It's just whatever the ladies wear and they have a couple of props that they, they bring on with them. I see. So it's a and very easy to travel. To produce and travel with. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. in the past, like last year, you had, uh, you had one show over on the Town Common that was mm -hmm. delightful mm -hmm. as part of the Concerts on the Common series. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any thought to that this year at all? Um, this year we are doing a summer show, um, which is called We the People. People, mm -hmm. and we will be doing that as a sh as a regular indoor show for Gateway, but we're also in line to do it on the Common. Um, and, and We the People is a musical um, that's patriotic. We figured it kind of fit in this year with the yeah. presidential election oh, and yeah. everything. Oh yeah. Oh sure. Um, so well, that will timely. be the one we'll do. Outside. So you may end up doing that in the th in the theater. I call mm -hmm. it a theater in the church yeah. here. And then, in addition, you may have a on show out there on the common. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. more work to do on the common, isn't it? There's a sound set up. Yeah. And, yeah. And we try uh, and pick things that, in this one particularly, We the People doesn't have a, a big set. Um, it's more what the actors are bringing to it and, you know, the songs yeah. and that type of thing. So we try and get something that's a little bit easier to move. <laughs> easier to drag it all over to the yeah. common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not like yeah. some of the other ones. Um, Llewellyn, what, uh, do you have a, are you one of the church ladies in the show? I am the narrator. Oh, you're the referee. I'm no, I didn't mean that. You're the narrator. <laughs> yes. But I, you know, I'm also the director, so I got to look at and read the different parts and kind of pick out women that I knew that would fit into those parts, uh -huh. you know, or they'd be best to portray the parts. Oh, sure. Yeah. This is your experience come to play, and a lot of them have yeah. been around for a while, and they've been actors. And mm -hmm. You know who's, who's strong where, and mm -hmm. oh, that's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. The 8th of March, 2 o'clock. And I think I heard you say free. It's free, yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. how can you beat a deal like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, and that sounds great. The church ladies over here at Elm Street Congregational, in addition to the fine slate of quality <laughs> shows that yes. we already talked about, mm -hmm. there's a little extra one that may go on the road if other groups are out there and want to see it at their right. place. Like a church and if, you know, if they're interested and they want to contact Gateway, they can call our phone number. Mm -hmm. and, and people can talk to you and they can get an idea mm -hmm. of uh, some of the stuff coming up and, if they, and opportunities also. Sure. Because, yeah. I mean, it must be yeah. lifeblood to you to have new people drift in every oh, once in yes. a while. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, I noticed there's yeah. some new faces at Barefoot in the Park. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few new faces yeah. in this one. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on and describing sure. this. Folks, there you have it. We have the church ladies on the 8th of March. That's right. At 2 o'clock, which is a Sunday, right over here at Elm Street Congregational Church. It's going to look a lot like all the other productions from Gateway, but this is a little bit special. It's going to be shorter. Uh, it's free, and it's in... Um, uh, in cooperation with the group that we mentioned. Yep, Women's Fellowship at Elm Street Church. Yeah, and that's their um, that's what they're going to be doing for the public here. And if you're looking for something to do here in this cold winter <laughs> and you miss the opportunity to see Barefoot in the Park, and even if you did see it, you've got another chance right now. And I and I hope to see all of you there, Llewellyn. Thanks for coming on. Sure. Thanks for all the work you and your friends do over there. It helps Always make Southbridge uh, the community that it is. Mm-hmm. Keep the arts going. You betcha. Yeah. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. And this is Max Gullickson, and we will see you again right here on Sopridge Community Television. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>